condition is given 1 upon a plus 1 upon b is equal to 1 upon 17 where condition is given a and b is greater than 0 so we have to find out the value of a and b and same time we have to find out the value of a plus b is equal to what so let's see solution how we can find out the value of a plus b so 1 upon a plus 1 upon b is equal to 1 upon 17 this is given question so we can do here one thing we can multiply both sides by a b so multiply by a b so 1 upon a plus 1 upon b a b is equal to 1 upon 17 times a b when we are multiplying this term so we will get here a b this one a b upon a plus a b upon b is equal to a b upon 17 now a is cancelled from a and here b is cancelled from b so left term that is b plus a b plus a is equal to a b upon 17 right now we have to remove this 17 so we can multiply both side by 17 so multiply by 17 on both sides so 17 times b plus a is equal to a b divided by 17 times 17 now this 17 is cancelled from this 17 now we got here 17 times a we can write plus 17 times b is equal to a b right now a b we can write this one a b minus a b minus 17 a minus 17 b is equal to 0 now add 289 we have to add here 289 so adding 289 on both sides we will get here so here it will become a b minus 17 a minus 17 b plus 289 is equal to 289 now why we are adding this 89 because when we are multiplying 17 uh, times 17 we will get here 289 and we have to take factor here we have to uh, take common factor of uh, 17 so that's why we are uh, taking here 289 now next term it will become here ab minus 17b minus 17a plus 289 is equal to 289 now ab minus 17b so we can take common here b so a minus 17 right now next term here minus 17 so left term that is a and it will become here a minus because minus minus plus so we are taking here minus 17 now you can see here 17 times 17 289 that's why we are uh, taking here 289 in addition form now is equal to 289 now here a minus 17 a minus 17 common so we can take here a minus 17 and next term that is b minus 17 so b minus 17 is equal to 289 we got here a minus 17 times b minus 17 is equal to 289 now we have to take factor of 289 so factor of 289 equal to we can say 289 equal to 1 times 289 it will become 289 this is case 1 next one we can say 289 times 1 is equal to 289 and last one is this is the multiplication of 17 times 17 right this is case 3 now we got here 3 case so we are taking one by one so case 1 a minus 17 times b minus 17 is equal to 1 times 289 right now a minus 17 so here we can say a minus 17 is equal to 1 comparing lhs and rhs and here b minus 17 is equal to 289 
so a minus 17 is equal to 1 therefore we can say a is equal to 17 plus 1 a is equal to 18 this is the value of a here now we have to find out the value of b so b minus 17 is equal to 289 so we can say here value of b is equal to b equal to 289 plus 17 so b is equal to till we come here 306306 now we got the value of a and b here so a b is equal to 18 and 306 and uh, there is one more question uh, we have to find out the value of a plus b right so here a plus b is equal to 18 plus 306 is equal to 324 this is the value of a plus b from case 1 now we have to find out the value of a b from case 2 so from case 2 we can say here a minus 17 times b minus 17 is equal to 289 times 1 right now comparing lhs and rhs we will get here a minus 17 is equal to 289 a minus 17 289 b minus 17 is equal to 1 b minus 17 is equal to 1 therefore a is equal to 289 plus 17 therefore we can say value of a is equal to when we are adding this term we will get here 306 this is the value of a and from b you can say uh, here b equal to 17 plus 1 b equal to 18 this is the value of b so from case 2 value of a plus b is equal to 306 plus 18 is equal to 324 this is from case 2 so we can say from case 1 and case 2 we got the same value of a plus b that is 324 now we have to see case 3 now from case 3 we can write a minus 17 times b minus 17 is equal to 17 times 17 17 times 17 is 289 right so comparing lhs and rhs we will get here a minus 17 is equal to 17 and b minus 17 is equal to 17 so here it will become a is equal to 17 plus 17 a is equal to 34 now here b minus 17 is equal to 17 so we can say b is equal to 17 plus 17 therefore b is equal to 17 plus 17 34 so from case 3 we got the value of a b is equal to 34 34 therefore a plus b is equal to 34 plus 34 is equal to 68 this is the value of a plus b from case 3 so we got the value of a plus b from case 1 a plus b is equal to from case 1 324 from case 1 and case 2 same value that is 324 and from case 3 we got the value of a plus b is 68 this is the solution for this equation thank you